This is your CBS News Baltimore update for May 25th. I'm Miana Massey. We're following breaking news out of Baltimore City where police shot and killed a suspect. Around 10.30 last night, officers were investigating a shots fired call on South Hanover Street from a few days ago. They were talking to someone who they believed to be the shooter, and city police say the man stood up and pulled out a gun. It's unclear who fired first. Several officers opened fire, and so did the suspect. The suspect was then killed. An officer was shot in the chest, but was saved by his protective vest. Mayor Brandon Scott was there on the scene. We'll continue to focus on people who are recklessly using illegal handguns and shooting at people, and will not allow that to be tolerated. So we're very grateful for the officers for doing the follow-up to an incident where multiple people could have been shot, and who knows if this individual would have went on to shoot other people were it not for the actions of the officers tonight. The officer hit in the vest is a detective and was taken to shock trauma to be evaluated. The officers who fired their weapons are now on administrative leave, and the attorney general's office is investigating the sh shooting. Not only are those roads busy, but also the airports across the country. This is the scene yesterday at BWI Thurgood Marshall as thousands rush to make their flights. BWI expects to screen about 33,000 passengers a day this holiday weekend. Some people that we spoke to say they are happy about a busy travel season. I think it's a good thing. People moving around, you know, we still getting through the whole COVID thing. So it's a good thing people being able to be around family and stuff like that. AAA forecasts a near 44 million people will travel 50 mi miles or more this weekend. That's including almost a million from right here in Maryland. And that's your CBS News Baltimore update. I'm Yana Massey.